if you guys remember in some of the videos that you have seen from this channel, I did have deer netting uh, up here. <clears throat> and what I used that for was to keep uh, squirrels, dogs, cats, you know, any type of, I do live out in the country, so possum, squirrels, anything like that out of my high tunnel. Um, thank God I did not have any issues last year with any type of those animals. The only thing I had issues with is insects and aphids because if you've ever looked at uh, deer fencing, it's pretty big. I think it's an inch on inch. So you can pretty much get uh, caterpillars in there. You can pretty much get cabbage moths, anything like in there to desecrate your, your, um, your crop. As you can see, I've got my lettuce and stuff really coming off right now. So I wanna take a chance to protect it. I was gonna do this year, last year. I ran out of funds to get this project done. So going into this year, I did buy all new insect netting for both tunnels, the new tunnel and the DIY tunnel here. So all I did earlier was I went ahead and took all that deer netting. I spared you guys from watching that took all that deer netting um, off of here. And what I'm going to attempt to do, since we literally almost have dead calm day here, which is very uncommon here in Kansas, but there literally is almost no wind to maybe a couple mile an hour. So hopefully I can get this done before the wind picks up. What I'm going to do is I took the wiggle wire, you can see about a foot, foot and a half up on the side wall here. So that way it is open to the inside of the tunnel. And I'm going to go ahead and take all of the uh, wiggle wire here so I can roll this side up so I can put um, the first layer of insect netting on. That is the correct way to do that. Um, I have done it in the past where literally you just pull this up, put the insect netting or the deer netting behind it and then stapled it, which you can do. There is no issues with that. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to think I'm going to do it the correct way, which is taking all of the wiggle wire, uh, the wiggle wire out of the tracking so I can literally pull this up like this and I can get to this so I can pull my insect netting in here and then put my plastic over it and then wiggle wire, um, uh, wiggle wire it back on to hold the plastic on. Whether or not that's going to work by myself, like I said, I'm only by myself today. It ideally would be to have two people, one person on the inside pulling and then one person on the outside putting up the tracking. But unfortunately, I am here by myself. So I'm going to attempt to do this. Um, I'm going to attempt to do this by myself. So just uh, hang back and uh, see if I can get this done. is we need to get this plastic rolled up as tight as we can right now so it does not get away from us. Over the top here, I'm gonna hook it up so that way it doesn't get away from me and I'm just gonna pull it up over the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll our insect netting down a few feet here. We're gonna take this staple gun and pull this insect netting on the top side of this and just give it a, we're gonna come across and just kind of pull this tight every foot or so. And all we're basically using this for is like a second person. This is just gonna be my second person. So when I pull this plastic back down, I can put this wiggle wire there. And then from there, I can actually pull it tight on the bottom to pick up the slack. But since I don't have a second person, this is gonna act like my second person. I think that's a better idea than trying to work my way down the... Uh, wiggle wire back and you can see the top is on there so now all we've got to do now is get the sides and then we will start pulling this tight down so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and tuck the sides in here where I want them to be I'll leave a little bit extra there to wrap around and then I will just pull my plastic over here and I've already got my pieces that are cut so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here and that's gonna hold that one tight. What I do now is pull this plastic tight like this, which is pretty easy. You can pretty much do this. 
and all you, all that's doing is pulling and you can take your pliers also help uh, push that in sometimes it's a little hard when you start adding multiple layers of things in one channel but we're gonna get this tucked in there nice and tight I know it's a little hard to see trying to get this done at the same time you're videoing is a little sometimes it's a little hard I'm trying but you guys kind of get the concept now you see that now that is tight on there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip around and we are gonna grab our piece of wiggle wire we had on the bottom and we are now going to install that so you always make sure you carry these with you because you may have to have that because sometimes this stuff gets pretty taut and get your fingers in there it'll eat the end of your fingers up so it's always good to have a pair of side cutters with you but if you pull the insect netting tight to the ground like this tracking piece in your piece of wiggle wire in the tracking excuse me and pull down as you can see you can pull that plastic fairly or that uh, insect netting fairly tight so I'm just going to work my way on down the line here and then we are just going to get this netting pulled tight and then I'll show you the next step Just like that, we'll pick up the scraps here and throw this in the trash, but as you can see, all the insect netting is now onto the high tunnel, um, which is a sigh of relief for me. I've been wanting to do that now for the last three weeks, and I haven't not had a chance with this wind being so rough on us, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Now that we've got that done, what we are going to do is we are going to put, wind our rope back. On, um, on the side here. All right, so all we're doing is I've got screws, uh, screwed down the side here. You could use eye bolts, you could use anything. I use, I use four inch tech screws because I had those, um, but you could use anything you want. I may go back uh, here in the future and take this out and then put eye bolts in that, that's a good thing about this DIY kit You can pretty much build it upon your budget and then when you have another when you have a little more money Allocated you can go ahead and change what you need to get done, but we're gonna go ahead all it is is just Wrapped around some of these screws like this and I'm gonna go Like that And then all you got to do is just lightly tie it. This doesn't have to be super tight all we're doing with this is uh, is using it to help hold that plastic. If you remember, we're not actually structurally holding anything together. So go ahead and pull that tight, and then I am going to just tie basically a knot in it. Nothing fancy. I'm not a knot person, so just like that. And now we've got it all set up and ready uh, for this growing season. Hopefully guys, you found something enjoyable and something learnable in that video. Uh, until next time guys, I will see you next week. See you later. Oh yeah, by the way, get out and grow something. Bye.